Okay, now let's see this question. A homogeneous rod AB of length L equal to 1.8 meter and mass M is pivoted at the center O in such a way that it can rotate freely in the vertical plane. The rod is initially in the horizontal position. An insect S of the same mass M falls vertically with speed V on the point C, midway between the points O and B. Immediately after falling, the insect moves towards the end B such that the rod rotates with a constant angular velocity omega. Determine the angular velocity omega in terms of V and L. If the insect reaches the end B when the rod has turned through an angle of 90 degree, determine V. So we have to solve two questions one by one. The important part is that uh, the omega, the angular speed of the rod always remains constant. Okay, that what, that's what is given. Now, this is your initial situation. This is your rod AB pivoted at the center. This is half the length L by 2. This is half the length L by 2. Now, at distance L by 4 above the point C, an insect is falling with speed V. It reaches the rod and sticks to the rod and starts moving along this direction towards P. Okay. So, we have to find first of all determine the angular velocity omega in terms of V and L. So how do we solve this? So this is your initial situation, right? This is the initial situation and your final situation will be such that the, this is your rod AB. Okay. This is your rod AB. This is the hinge O and here I have my insect. Okay. Here I have my insect at point C and the insect is moving in this direction while the rod will rotate with angular speed omega okay the insect has got some velocity but we don't care about the velocity of the insect why because when I'm calculating angular momentum the velocity of the insect is along this line which is passing through the axis so the angular momentum due to this velocity will be zero so we don't need this in our first part of the question determine the angular velocity omega in terms of v and l so i have to simply conserve the angular momentum why because the insect and the rod are applying forces on each other there is no external force to create external torque on the system there is no external torque so initial angular momentum is equal to final angular momentum so initially the rod is at rest it has no angular momentum for the insect its mass is how much mass of the insect is given same mass m so mass into v into distance perpendicular distance L by 4 so initial angular momentum will be M V L by 4 final angular momentum will be for the rod which is rotating with omega moment of inertia is ml square by 12 times omega okay plus for the insect it is a distance L by 4 so M times L by 4 whole square times omega. So initial angular momentum and final angular momentum. So I get uh, M will get cancelled out. M will get cancelled out. Okay. Similarly, uh, let's write down. So V L by 4 is equals to L square omega by 12 plus L square omega by 16. So now let's cancel out again. 4 times 3, 4 times 4, 16. Correct. And uh, one of the else will get cancelled out. So I can basically remove this, remove this, remove this. Here I can write 3, here I can write down 4. Okay. So V is equal to L omega by 3 plus L omega by 4. So 7 L omega by 12. So omega will be 12 V by 7 L. This is the first part of the question found just by using angular momentum conservation. Okay, now let's look at the part B of the question. If the insect reaches the end B when the rod has turned through an angle of 90 degree, determine V. So we have found omega in terms of V and now we have to find V. Okay, how do we do that? So for that, first of all, we need to know how uh, the position of the insect should change with the angle theta. Okay. So initially the rod was horizontal. Okay. So this is my horizontal position. And now I'm drawing the rod at some angle theta. 
so this is your rod okay the rod has turned by an angle theta correct this is the center of the rod which is fixed oh correct now first thing since the rod has constant angular velocity omega so we can easily say that theta will be equal to omega times t omega into t okay theta is equal to omega into t now the insect will be somewhere over here insect will be somewhere over here okay it is uh, let's say r distance away from the center of the rod right the insect is r distance away from the center of the rod so in this position what is the angular momentum angular momentum l will be for the rod ml square omega by 12 for the insect insect is r distance away so mr square omega that's it right so this is your angular momentum now omega is constant correct but since the distance r of the insect from the center is changing angular momentum is changing so i can write down that dl by dt will be the torque okay the torque will be dl by dt so if i know torque if i know dl by dt i can easily solve my problem further okay so first of all calculating uh, if i know l calculating dl by dt is easy i just need to differentiate this equation with time so i need to just find out what is the torque on my system so how to do that on the insect gravitational force mg is acting downwards and what is the torque created by this gravitational force distance of the gravity is r from the center and this is a gravitational force this angle is theta so the horizontal separation from the center will be r cos theta so your torque will be mg r cos theta torque will be mg r cos theta and this is equal to now differentiate this with time so this is a constant its derivative will be zero and for this what is the derivative m omega d by dt of r square m will get cancelled out so g r cos theta is equals to omega times 2 r d r by dt okay now let's rearrange my uh, rearrange this equation so what do we get so g r is getting cancelled out the r we cancel so g into cos theta is what omega t times dt equal to 2 omega dr now i just integrate this equation so when i integrate what should be my limits at time t equal to 0 distance r is equal to l by 4 for the insect and finally at time t my distance r will be l by 2 that is it is reaching the end of the rod okay the insect is traveling from initially l by 4 to finally this end b as given in the question so final distance of the insect is l by 2 from the center okay so when you integrate here you will get g integration of cos omega t will give you sin omega t divided by coefficient of t that is omega here we get 2 omega r and we put the limits 0 to t L by four to L by two. So when you simplify this, you will get g by omega sine omega t, and here we get two omega L by four. Or I get over here g sine omega t. I'll write again as theta is equals to omega square L by two. Correct. so uh, first of all what is the value of theta now according to question if the insect reaches the end b when the rod has turned through an angle of 90 degrees so theta should be taken as 90 degrees theta should be taken as 90 degrees so we get omega square equal to 2g by l or omega is equal to root 2g by l now we have to find v so omega is 12v by 7l so 12v by 7l is equals to root 2g 2g by l 
so v will be 7 by 12 root 2 g l so we just need to put the values in the question what is the value of l given so l is given to be 1.8 so v will be 7 by 12 root 2 into g 10 into l 1.8 so 18 times 2 36 so we get 7 by 12 into 6 so this is 3.5 meter per second this is the answer